<sighs> Hi, my name is Deron Jones and I play Riff in West Side Story on Broadway. And I'm here with Time Out to show you some stretchy things I do before each show. So first we're gonna start with the head looking down and then looking up, then going side to side and then tilting to the side as well, okay? Here we go. And just eight of them to the side. Six, seven, eight, tilt, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're just gonna do a little head circle. Just make sure that neck stays nice and loose. And one more the other way. Release the jaw. Bring the head to center and then shoulder shrugs. Down, down, down. Another one, two, four, six, eight. Forward, 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 back, forward, back, and back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Very nice, into the elbows, to the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the front, one, two, three, keep it nice and bend in those four knees, five, six, seven, eight, into the wrist, one, two, out and in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring them in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're just gonna shake all that out. Shake all that out, shake all that out. The shoulders, the wrists, the head. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Then we're just gonna do a little bit of chest stretching. Not really the this, but more just to the side and really just hitting all of those areas that you hit going to the side, mm -hmm. stretching those obliques, all that. Really weird, interesting way. I don't really know what to call it. It's just really a side stretch and then to the other side as well. And just really feel that out and make sure you get a little bit more of an open stretch in there too. You should feel that all down the right side of your body right now. Oh. And then come to center. Bring the hands behind the back, sort of like this, right? And then we're just gonna stretch forward. You can have a slight bend in the knees. Oh, relax that head, relax the neck. Really just keep those arms as high as you can. And then keeping the arms as high as you can, come up, keep the hands there, release, just contract the, the chest and stretch it forward again. Just contract the chest, stretch it forward again. Two more of those. Stretch and stretch. Oh. Shake that out, shake that out. Make sure that you're getting the shoulders in there good, the shoulders in there good. I'm gonna have a slight bend in the knees and go to a little bit of the hips and the inner thighs. So we're just gonna do a little side stretches like this, pushing your hip into the leg that is bent. Okay, that hits more of the inner thighs. All right, and then once you've done a couple of those, we're just gonna stay on one side and really just push into that hip. Try to keep the other foot flat on the ground from the straight leg so we can get more of that stretch. And then other side, same thing. All right, come up and just bend both legs and sort of just bounce in a little squat. Opens up those hips a little bit more. 
turn it out. Bounce a little bit more. This feels really good, by the way. Uh huh. Just straighten those legs. Undulate the spine. So it's coming down and up. Leading with the chest. One more after this. Focus on your breath too and just stay down there. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You can come to the one side, go into a lunge. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. You can see this knee over the ankle for safety. Always be safe. Stretch that out. We can put our hands on the ground and try to straighten that leg. Try to keep the hips parallel to the direction that you're facing and bend that leg again. We try to make sure the back leg is also straight and then straighten that leg one more time. This is really good for those hamstrings. Bow the head. Stretch that out again. Come back to center. Stretch the hips one more time. How are we doing? All good? Glad we're great. And to the other side. Stretch that out again. Again, knee over the ankle, please. Uh-huh. Come up and stretch out that front leg. That make sure the hips are parallel to the direction you're facing and straighten. Sorry, I mean bend, bend this leg. And then straighten again. And then come back. Oh, straighten those legs, bring them parallel. Sort of just hang over, swing side to side. Just release, slight bend in the knees so you can really release your hips, release your hamstrings. Do a little bend there again, just bounce in this position. Straighten the legs, stretch over those hamstrings. You can bring the feet in a little closer. When you're down here, you can try to straighten your back to get a more intense stretch in your hamstrings. You can put your fingers under your toes. So if you use that to pull. Very gently, very gently. Oh. Relax over. Try to straighten the back one more time. While you're down there. Release those fingertips from under your feet. Bend the knees again. Oh. Slowly come up. Feel just where your body is at for the moment. Don't fix your clothing. Don't do anything. Just breathe in that position. Great. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. So now we're gonna do some dynamic stretching. Um, it's a little bit more active um, and uh, warms up the blood a little bit, a little bit better than uh, static stretching. Um, so we're gonna start off with some butt kicks. All right, here we go. Try to kick your butt as much as you can. Get some blood going. Five, four, three, two, one. Done with that. Go to some knee raises or high knees, sorry.
Bring those knees up. Try to keep your hands where they are. Don't cheat. Only cheating yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go of that. Get some jumping jacks, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, there's some calf bounces. Pretty much just lifting up on our calves, coming down. Looks easy. It's already burning. Should be pretty nice and warm now. Got the breathing going. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do some push ups. Do what you can. This is not a race. Uh, do as many, many, many as you can, as little as you can. You can do variations on them. I'm gonna do a basic push up. One, two, three, four. Five more. 12, 13, 14, 15. And now we're just gonna hold the plank for about 20 to 30 seconds. Do what you can. You can go on your forearms like this. You can go on your hands, whatever you choose. I'm gonna stay on my hands and here we go. breathing. Keep those abs engaged. You can do it. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and bring that down. Stress into a cobra. Just stretch that out. Uh-huh. Come back, bring your knees in. Go into a little child's pose. Uh, try to sink those hips into the ground. Push back. Should feel very good. We're gonna come to all fours. You just sort of do a cat. You can do it to the side as well. Stretch the hips out. And then we're gonna go to a little downward dog. So push back. You can pedal out the feet to get a deeper stretch in those calves. Really push into those hands. Uh, bring the knees down. Come back. Come to a standing. And that does it for our dynamic stretching.